welcome to all good evening this very 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 important lecture of paper 1 there is one separate topic for election process and today i am here because of deepak sir and savan sir invited me and given me opportunity for this burning issue a very 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 important topic because nowadays there is a boom of election process and that's why under gdc and a one special topic is given there it requires a practical knowledge it requires a knowledge of bylaws it requires a knowledge of new rules created for election process of e class societies specifically in my today's lecture i wanted to speak i wanted to deliver my lecture for e class societies only not a b c d those are different societies having more than 250 members some are uh, cooperative federations so according to the nature the society's classification is there and i would like to draw your attention specifically for e class societies having more than up to 250 members not more than up to 250 members i would like to thanks to government of maharashtra for creating these rules earlier no proper election procedure cooperative societies management was also not proper there was a while on there was a mcs act 1960 but in election there was no proper system there was no proper procedure but from 2014 and again in 2019 government has made revolutionary changes in election process so that management of cooperative societies becoming cooperative housing societies becoming more professional and the persons who are representing on managing committee they are come they are elected specifically by system by applying the procedure and that's why procedure is very systematic very nice proper legal valid professional the persons who are coming on the managing committee they are screened they 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 can be elected only after completing all the necessary formalities no shortcut and that's why this procedure is very systematic very professional legal i wanted to explain you about e class 250 members what is called as a e class actually there was a more discussion in government ki why many people why such type of election is required for others a b c and d their election is conducted directly by cooperative department for e class earlier it was 100 then 200 now it it is made 200 member 250 members those societies having members maximum 250 up to 250 they are called e class societies 
and government has given a freedom that for e class societies election is to be conducted on society level but society level means not as they will and as they wish there is also system there is a procedure and that procedure i would like to share with you your doubts etc i will clear in last 10 minutes stage by stage i wanted to explain you in detail i have just now i have given you what is called as a e-class society is 250 members maximum of course for every cooperative so housing society or every cooperative society the basis maharashtra cooperative societies act 1960 supported by mcs rules 19 maharashtra cooperative societies rules 1961 that support to application of application of provisions of mcs act mcs rules 1961 then bylaws of the society then general body and then managing committee but the first important nobody has a choice nobody has a freedom to break maharashtra cooperative societies act 1960 because that is the base by taking into consideration consideration this important approach i would like to come to the point and again election rules are created in the year 2014 so you must have knowledge of maharashtra cooperative societies act 1960 Maharashtra Cooperative Society's Rules 1961, Bylaws of the Society, Model Bylaws, then Rules, Election Rules. And today I would like to discuss to you about the election rules. Election rules are created by Maharashtra Co-op for that purpose, a special body, special regulatory body is created by government that is called as a state cooperative election authority sesa state cooperative scea state cooperative election authority so about the election process election procedure election rules different changes circulars all these things are created by as per the, the as per the regulations as per the regular rules created by CESA that is state cooperative election authority so this rules for rules created uh, in the year 2014 for elections of e-class societies are also formulated by state cooperative election authority first important thing that you have to remember now there are different stages i wanted to share with you along with the stages and in support to that what is the schedule time limit different rules first important stage that tenure expire for every cooperative housing society for managing company the tenure is for five years the period is five years so the existing managing committee which is in the power they should come to know okay now the five years period is over before completion of the period before 60 days two months existing managing committee office bearer chairman secretary and treasurer along with managing committee they should start the election process 
immediately. So the first important stage will be that you should come to know that the tenure is expired for years immediately. It is necessary to write the letter to the registrar. Ki our tenure is expired as on so and so date. The second stage will be appointment of returning officer. In Marathi, it is called a Nivada Niranaya Adhikari. Returning, it is not election officer. Returning officer, that he is responsible for all election formalities. Election officer is responsible only for a specific duty on the date of election, on the date of poll. But returning officer is responsible for the entire process. And this process requires 60 days as per government standard format. Election process requires 60 days. And so the second stage will be appointment of returning officer. There are two choices for appointment of returning officer. One a returning officer who is responsible to carry the election to conduct the election may be appointed from your society any member but there are conditions that member shall that member is not the managing committee member existing managing committee member that is outgoing managing committee and also he is not interested to contest the election of the new managing committee i got understood first he is not the existing managing committee member and he is also not interested to become a managing committee member for the future period future period in next five years such person can be appointed as a returning officer but he must take specific training of election of e-class societies from housing society federation or training authorities to whom the training authority is given to conduct the elections from that prescribed the certificate must be obtained and training should be required after getting the training only he can be appointed that member can be appointed as a returning officer this is the first choice Second, returning officer can be appointed from government panel for all uh, areas, specific for all divisions, not areas, all divisions, election panel is created, E-class society's election panel, and that list will be available from the registrar's office. Registrar of Cooperative Housing Society. From that, you will get the copy of panel. It is available. The election panel will be there, is there for Mumbai Division. It is there for Sirko, New Mumbai. It is also for Kokan, Kokan means from Thane, Mahad, entire Kokan area. There are three in Maharashtra. There are so many other areas of the divisions but mostly related to mumbai it is mumbai division it is Sirko division and it is Kokan division from that you have to select you have to call that person society manager or society secretary has to call that person yeah, uh, your number we got can we appoint you as a returning officer then he will say yes okay then call him for discussion to understand the election process then if he's billing it is required to pass a resolution in managing committee for appointment of his returning officer and his remuneration as given by the government rules And it is required to give official letter of 
appointment to that returning officer by society later head then the returning officer who is appointed will give his written consent in the prescribed form yes i am accepting from today appointment of returning officer it is in the prescribed format he gives consent letter after giving the consent letter managing committee existing managing committee which is at present is responsible to prepare provisional orders list in form e3 provisional orders list is to be prepared in form e3 as it is according to i and j register i and j register give the details about serial number name of the member flat number number of shares held so it is the most important responsibility to update i and j register because sometimes it may happen that some persons have applied to get the membership because of purchase of the flat but it is still not registered it may create a problem it may create a dispute because he has already given the application before one or two months and managing committee or secretary has or manager has not taken that point properly and it that thing is not registered in i and j register so it will be injustice that's why it is required to update i and j register and prepare provisional order list provisional order list is to be prepared and published in alphabetical order as per surname standard format it should be in alphabetical order of the surname it must be signed by secretary and chairman it is not signed by returning officer because returning officer's role will be from the next stage that is publication of final order list so publication of provisional order list is the responsibility of the managing committee and once it is prepared it is to be published on the notice board of the society if it is possible circulate to all the members electronically or by visiting to each flat by which everybody should come to know ki election process is started and provisional order list is there within 10 days from the publication of provisional order list members can give their claims objections and corrections in writ in writing if any member has some problem in his surname name flat number that member has to apply in writing to the society if there is a correction there is a objection on anything it is to be communicated to the society in writing within 10 days not after that huh? in the same way at the same time if any member has joint membership of the flat means the flat is hold by two or three persons for example there is a name of first name of is of mr prakash kulkarni example second owner second holder on share certificate as well as i registers j register mrs prakash kulkarni means mrs pravila kulkarni example and the third name son mr pravin kulkarni prakash kulkarni is the first pravila kulkarni is second and pravin kulkarni three third so the shares and membership and the flat is also hold by three persons jointly that is a joint membership in that case 
if Mr. Prakash Kulkarni is he, he is not giving, he is not able to give the time or he is not willing to act in management. In that time, Mr. Prakash Kulkarni can give his voting right to second or third. First is Prakash Kulkarni, he can give his a consent in form 10A. Form 10A will be available with returning officer. Returning officer will give the form 10A. It is in the prescribed form. In that, Mr. Prakash Kulkarni is transferring his voting as well as right to contest the election. Both. He is transferring his voting right. He is also transferring his right to contest the election to Mrs. Pramila Kulkarni or third person. Form 10A for transferring voting right to joint member. In the same way, voting right can be transferred to associate member. Associate member is that person who is coming in blood relation, maybe father, brother, son, daughter, wife, husband, nephew. These persons are coming in the definition of family relation, yeah, blood relation. But the condition is that that associate member is already registered, already admitted in the society's record. And now original member is interested to transfer in the voting right or right to contest the election again in form 10A for associate member. That is also to be produced. So first is for joint member. Second is for associate member. Third category, if in that society there are sir, some flats of joint stock company, flats of partnership, flats of trust, in that time, authority will be given by the joint stock company to represent director, manager or managing director for that, that company, that joint stock company, that trust, that partnership firm has to give authority letter for what authority letter to vote that person can vote on behalf of company behalf of trust behalf of partnership behalf of association not only putting right that author authorized person can also contest the election so just now i have given you transfer of voting right for joint member transfer of voting right for associate member transfer of voting right for authorized the person all these things all such all such types of formalities are to be completed within 10 days from the date of publication of provisional voter list after that there will be again 10 days gap to returning officer for taking decisions on claims objections Corrections, transfer of voting right to joint member, transfer of voting right to associate member, transfer of voting right to authorized person. Means provisional voter list is published for 10 days. Taking decisions is the responsibility of the returning officer. For that, again, he is getting 10 days. But you remember once again, this point is very, very important. No claims, objections, correction, or transfer of voting right will be accepted after 10 days. Within 10 days only, members have to give in writing corrections, objections, or transfer of voting right. After 10 days, it will not be accepted. It is compulsory rule. No exception. Now, a returning officer has to take the decisions on claims, objections, corrections, transfer of voting right on the basis of I and J registrar. Society Managing Committee Minute Book, General Minute Book, Associate Members Register, Provisional Member is one member, Provisional Member is also there. Provisional Member means a member who is only nominee, not an original member. He is a nominee. Nominee is a provisional member and nominee has only one right. 
too old, he cannot contest the election. Right to contest the election is not there for nominee. Nominee has only one right, that is right to vote. Voting right is only given. So, all such persons who have applied, who have requested or corrections, objections, then a uh, returning officer has to take the decisions properly on the basis of bylaws, on the basis of act, on the basis of the natural law, natural understanding. And then he has to prepare a proceedings of claims and objection. What is the first claim, second claim, objection? Is if the claims and objections is accepted, he has to write accepted. If it is not genuine, he has to write rejected. But he has to prepare proceedings of claims and objections. Then he has to make a stamp on returning officer as a proceedings of claims and objection. Also, he has to prepare a proceedings on transfer of voting rights. Or joint member, associate member, and authorized persons. Then, after that, decisions on claims of objections. Within two days, returning officer has to prepare a final list of orders, final orders list in form 3 1. Provisional order list form 3. Final order list form 3 1. In that, he has to incorporate all the changes due to the acceptance of corrections, objections, or changes due to transfer of voting right to uh, transfer of voting right approved, accepted by returning officer. To joint member, associate member, as well as authorized persons. But remember, this final order list is final. Once it is published, nobody can make any change. No changes are allowed once final order list is prepared and published. Final order list is the base. Voting right is given only to those members or persons whose names are there in final order list. So the persons or the members whose names are not incorporated in final order list, they are not allowed to vote. They are not allowed to contest the election. So that returning officer has to prepare final order list very, very carefully by taking into consideration all the corrections, objections which are genuine. Then final order list is to be published within two days from uh, this one decisions and objections. After that, it is necessary that returning officer has to prepare and publish election program prescribe the election program and that election program's copy should be circulated to all members electronically or by courier or personally and one copy of election program is to be also to be there in the notice on the notice board of the society and again this is a map this is a plan for carrying the election process so that election program is very as per the government procedure all the points are there all the things proper time limit is given according to that election program is to be prepared and it's all the st all stages must be incorporated proper time limit should be given and it must be signed by returning officer it's a copy should be given to all the members after that 
immediately the next stage that is a very very important stage is providing nomination forms and receiving nomination forms nomination for what nominations for to become a candidate of the managing committee to contest the election of the managing committee for that nomination forms are available in form e5 is a prescribed format it is also necessary in the election program on the top after giving some information in the first paragraph in the second or third paragraph there is a strength strength of the managing committee how much managing committee members for each society as per the prescribed format i wanted to explain first for 100 members general category six women two scs sc or st one obc one nt vj special backward class one in this way for 111 is the strength more than 100 100 100 1 to 200 no other changes only in general category instead of six it will be eight so other no any for other category women is cst same so for more than 200 it will be 30 and for 100 200 1 to 250 because we are only up to 250 it will be no other changes only changes for general category for 100 general 6 or 200 general 8 or more than 200 general 10 so it will be 50 according to that there is a strength and as for that it will be also circulated in the it will be also incorporated in election program okay, what is your strength and what will be your managing committee what will be the strength of your managing committee it should be as per government rules the next thing is that the men you may have out. For example, if SC candidate is not there, OBC candidate is not there, means they are not giving their nomination or not available in that society, that seat will be vacant. For example, for one society, Tara Cooperative Housing Society, Titwala, example. So in that general six nominations are there. Women two, nobody applied for SCST, so committee will be of eight persons only. Means if that if that seat remains vacant, no problem. But you cannot take from general. Huh? SC, ST, OBC, NT candidates, they can apply for general, but general category candidates cannot be from reservation category. Same thing for women. If women category is finished, means two are there. But in general, women, any other woman can also represent in general. But general category candidate cannot apply for women. So general category is fixed. SC, ST women, they can come, they can represent in general. But general category or general constituency candidate cannot apply for SC, ST, etc. But you must remember the important thing. In the no, uh, now I'm coming to the nomination stage. I will explain there about reservation category so nomination form should be made available for five days within five days the person the members whose names are there in the final order list only they can apply they have to collect or they have to obtain nomination from for, from returning officer <coughs> who has made available nomination forms in society office with his tab 
or nomination form has to be obtained. And after obtaining nomination form, the person whose name is available, whose name is there in final order list, he has to write his name, address, flat number, age, occupation, mobile number, all these details. But every nomination form again require two other members signature one as a proposal second as a second means every nom for example mr atul party is a is interested to contest the election so atul party is a candidate so proposer mr suhas Kulkarni is a proposer. Seconder Satish Shah is a seconder. So every nomination form requires a signature of three persons and details of three persons candidate contesting election. Proposer, second person. Seconder, third person. But the rule is that all these three persons' names must be in the final order list the person whose name is not included in final order list cannot be become a proposer or seconder or he cannot become a candidate so condition is that to become a proposer to become a seconder to become a candidate the name must be there in final order list. If the name is not included in final order list, that person, if he has given the signature, the form will be rejected. Now, what are the criteria? Who can become, who can submit the form? Nomination form. First, is that candidate who is interested to contest the election, he has to give the nomination form, it prescribed form. His name must be included in final order list. First condition. Second, he has to give the form with proposer and seconder signature. He has to pay deposit of rupees 500 for general and all other categories for a CST only 200 rupees deposit. Then for reservation category, it is necessary. Reservation means not women. SC, ST, NT, VJ, special backward class, OPC requires to submit that nomination form along with caste certificate issued by competent authority. Otherwise, if that form is given, for the reservation category and for that no any certificate is issued you've given that certificate must be there if that certificate is not there that form if that certificate is not enclosed with nomination form that form will be rejected so it is compulsory it is a condition that nomination form must be submitted with caste certificate issued by competent authority. Then the form is to be submitted. It is compulsory, very compulsory. Otherwise, it will be rejected. It is not possible to consider that form for general because you are applying for reservation. So it is not allowed that form will be shifted from reservation to general. It is not allowed to returning officer also because he has applied for reservation category. In, in for reservation category, he must issue a caste reservation. A woman reservation is not there. For that, it is not necessary. Caste reservation. He must produce the, that candidate must produce caste certificate issued by competent authority. Then nomination forms are to be received. Again, who cannot apply or whose form can be rejected? Defaulter. Defaulter is a member whose name is there in final order list. He can vote, but he cannot contest the election. Defaulter means that member who has failed to make the payment of maintenance and service charges for three months or more. 
for three months or more if he has not paid maintenance in that time that that person cannot apply or even though he is applied his form will be rejected it is compulsory so before completing nomination form member can make payment of maintenance charges and service charges he can make but there is a date of scrutiny checking of nomination form in that time before that time it is allowed for accepting it is allowed you can make the payment to society and get the get the receipt receipt that is compulsory so defaulters are not allowed then one more gr is also there government has given a member who has more than three children after 2nd September 2002, the date is given specifically. 2nd September 2002, that member has also not allowed to contest the election. Government should Others, any other person who has made any type of any type of offense and conviction is given by the judge or he has imprisonment for more than six months there is a conviction he has imprisonment that person or moral triplicate also not allowed to contest the election other persons can contest the election whose names are there in final order list so returning officer should be responsible to see all these all these he has to take all such types of precautions. He has to see all rules. He has to follow. He has to implement all rules properly. So after that, after, after the last date, five days are given. After the last date of receiving nominations, immediately on the second day, returning officer has to prepare as it is list of nominations received. For example, for general category, there are 10 nominations. Example, 6 is the strength because 100 members society, we got 10 nominations, correct? And uh, for women, 2 is the requirement, we got 4 nominations. For SCST, 1, OBC, 1, example we are taking special backward class or ENT one so for six for six strength we got 10 for women we got how many three or four four okay we take four then for uh, sc st obc one one we do not got more nominations now prepare the list that is called as a list of valid nominations received it has a column serial number, name of the candidate, flat number, and constituency. Constituency means general, women, SC, ST, that you have to write, general category. Constituency here, general or what? General or SC or ST, women, that must be mentioned. Okay. Then, immediately other day after publication of list of nominations received returning officer has to come in the office he has to make a scrutiny checking verification of the nomination forms on the basis of rules of election on the basis of bylaws and on the basis of society record in that he has to follow the rules properly for he should not be defaulter he has to see that his name is included in final order list. All the forms are with proposers and seconders, signature. These all these three persons' names are included in final order list. He is not defaulter. He has not any moral triplicate imprisonment more than six months. After by following all these rules, he has to make a scrutiny, the form is accepted. For immaterial, simple spelling mistake, flat number wrong, he should not go in that. He should make correction. 
he should not be ha huh, most important the final order his name must be there ha huh, by mistake spelling mistake is there flat number wrong those should be neglected it is given in the rules after that after that he has to prepare a list of valid nominations received valid means what valid means after scrutiny for example in that 10 nominations of general one nomination is rejected why that person was defaulted rejected so you have to write a letter to that candidate in writing he has to communicate why your nomination is rejected he must communicate in writing if you are defaulter from society's record we got the information your amount is due from so and so date again here is also rule the mem the candidate whose nomination is rejected he has a he has authority he has a right to apply to registrar within two days immediately within two days when he got the rejection letter he can contact to registrar and he can appeal for accepting then registrar will consider the complete case registrar will see the case if it is genuine rejection is genuine again that rejection is final but he has a right to submit his request letter okay my form is rejected and the reason is not proper but for that evidence is required so after that um, list of valid nominations after scrutiny is to be prepared by returning officer it is to be published on the notice board by for example one is rejected so now for 10 nine nominations are accepted for women all four are accepted for sc accepted one for obc one accepted for special backward class ng vjnt one accepted according to that list of nominations is to be list of valid nominations is to be prepared and published on the notice board now there will be again 15 days a candidate can withdraw his nomination by his own will and wish so 15 days time limit is given for withdrawal see how much time is given it such type of time limit is also not given for general elections for cooperative so housing society very systematic rules are written so within 15 days if any candidate by his own will and wish he can give a notice of withdrawal in prescribed format to returning officer i am not willing i want to withdraw my form so when your form is withdrawn now naturally your deposit will be returned within seven days because your form is withdrawn then within the after 15 days returning officer has to prepare a register of withdrawal okay, how many nominations are withdrawn for example in that nine nominations which are valid 10 we got one is re rejected nine nomination for general two persons have withdrawn so now how many are there eight what is our strength six for women there are four all all four are valid one is withdrawn so for general now there are eight candidates for women there are three actual strength for general is six but we have eight in surplus even after withdrawal there is a two extra for women also they we got four nominations all four are accepted one is withdrawn three are there means there will be election election means poll otherwise there will be uncontested election uncontested means on a votes for others yes see no more candidate only one uncontested for obc we got one uncontested for special backward class one uncontested means unopposed but now there will be poll by secret ballot method on other date for that we have to prepare and issue notice of special general meeting because 
that poll will be conducted on the date of special general meeting. So the election process, even declaration of uncontested candidate selection will be there on the date of special general meeting. So for election process is completed, not fully completed, but it will be declared to who are the candidates maybe uncontested or contested on the day, date of special general meeting. So now returning officer on society's notice board, he has to prepare a notice of special general meeting. And in that he has to give the agenda. But it should be on society letterhead and signed by, signed and stamped by returning officer. He has to give the day, date, time, place, which will be convenient to all. Then he has to give the agenda. In agenda, first subject, declare first subject, declaration of uncontested election. Means the person who are elected or opposed. Second, to conduct poll. Now there will be poll means proper election on ballot paper. Third, counting, counting of votes. Fourth, declaration of result. But all these things on one day only, same day. So now there will be a withdrawal, software withdrawal, we have given a register of withdrawal. After that, after completing that date of withdrawal, register of withdrawal also prepared. Now there will be one date. It is in the election program. Date of publication of final list of contesting candidates. Now, in our example, there are six seats for general. We have eight candidates for eight candidates for general category. Two are extra. For women category, our strength is two, but we have three candidates, so one is extra. So there will be un there will be election contesting candidates. How many contesting are there? For general, eight. For women, three. Among that three, you, you have to select two. Among for general category, eight. But actually, we want six only represent. So there will be a returning officer has to prepare a list of contesting candidates. And on the date, on that date, he has to call um, all those contesting candidates. And it is necessary to give them symbol. Symbol is given, symbols lists or symbols uh, selection will be there, which are given by state election authority. Only those symbols which are allowed by state election authority, only those symbols can be given. In that rule is that first come first selection, first come first allotment. If one person is want this bottle as a symbol, one other person is also asking for bottle, that cannot be given, first come first. According to that, symbols will be given and the list of final contesting candidate will be prepared in alphabetical order on surname, on the basis of surname, A surname first, then B, then C, then D, according to that. But here is also rule, if out of the contesting candidate, if 30% of total number of candidates are coming together and forming a group and they demand a common symbol, a returning officer has authority to accept that letter and give a common symbol to that group. That group is called as a panel. But final list of contesting candidates must be in alphabetical order, not according to panel. So the total panel should not be together. It should be as per alphabetical order. So final list of contesting candidate is prepared and published. After that, now, Special general meeting, and there will be the election. Now, returning officer has to make all arrangements. Ballot papers, ballot paper for general will be white color, ballot paper for women will be pink color, ballot paper for other candidates are different colors like blue color, green color, etc. etc. But for our case, now there are two elections or uh, two uh, contesting candidates general white ballot paper. And uh, for uh, this one, women, there will be pink, ballot, ballot box, 
on the date secretary uh, sorry returning officer has to call because already has called a special general meeting notice he has given he has to read the notice to in, for information of members then he has to declare the result of uncontested because the first agenda first subject will be declaration of the result of uncontested candidates our in our example yes general there is a contesting there will be proper ballot paper poll for women there will be poll because three, two required there are three now he has to declare the result of sc st obc and tnb gnt these are uncontested for general and for women there will be election after declaration that he has to explain in short in short only what are the rules of election he, everybody has to produce the identity card he has to give the training to election staff in before starting election huh? give complete training and it is necessary to announce the name one person all those persons are standing in the queue one by one they should come he has to he has to that uh, election officer uh, under returning officer read the name of the candidate it is necessary to appoint two representatives of the candidates also they should also see the name is there they should tick mark there will be one register of voters on that register of voters all voters should sign then the ballot paper will be issued two ballot papers will be issued one ballot paper white for general second ballot paper for women that is pink ballot box will be only one in the same ballot box say or oh, both the ballot papers will be inserted during the given time limit time limit will be maximum two hours for more uh, more than 200 it may be three hours also so within that time limit all those persons who are should come for voting they should cast their vote on by taking ballot ballot paper and the ballot papers will be inserted in the ballot box after that after completing the timing of the poll for example it was morning 8 30 to 10 30 after 10 30 after within a taking a 10 10 15 minutes break then returning officer has also given a training for counting how to make counting in counting the returning officer has to make the bundles of 25 25 ballot papers of each general category 25 women category 25 and he has to start reading of all words there will be counting sheet in counting sheets also all all those members casting all those members who are candidates to contest the election their names are also there along with symbol then one by one votes will be counted Count, after completing the counting all those votes on all ballot papers and on counting sheet are to be consolidated one consolidated statement will be there on that consolidated statement also he has to record all the votes in first 25 second 25 and third for example out of 100 members only 60 members have cast their votes first 25 bundle second 25 third 10 members in that also some votes may be invalid because for general category we have to cast only six but one two members two persons have casted more votes what is the choice you have to select any six but that member some of the members two three members have given eight votes what is the requirement six so that ballot paper will be invalid that ballot paper will be invalid why the rule is maximum six and that person is given eight so that paper will means some of the ballot papers will be invalid after that consolidated sheet will be considered in that out of eight candidates other candidates got more than 30 40 or but one candidate got 10 and one candidate got 15 others have more than 20 etc so these two candidates for general are cancelled means they are they cannot become on the managing committee all other six who have majority votes they will be declared as a winning candidates in women also there are three we have to select only two in that also some papers are in some ballot papers two ballot papers are invalid 
others are counted in invalid ballot papers will not be counted those are kept separate and it's a record will be maintained separately in valid ballot papers and after that uh, that result will be declared for women candidates also for women candidates also result and separate result sheet is prepared form e16 for all candidate votes and e17 the names of those candidates who are elected on managing committee e16 total score total number of votes to all the candidates including deputed candidates and e17 is a special form for that all managing committee who are selected this these two members and one member for women candidate their names will be deleted e17 but e16 all eight candidates and women candidates three but e17 only winning candidates who are elected on managing committee their names will be considered those forms are statutory very important because we have to submit that to be registered after that after that that it is necessary to publish the list of elected candidates on managing committee on the notice board and after seven days there will be election of office bearers for that again a special meeting will be called by the signature of returning officer that is called um, first meeting of newly elected managing committee members and in that meeting there will be election of chairman secretary treasurer in that also returning officer is the chairman and he has to start the election how to how is the election of chairman first he announce first he read the notice of the meeting then he start office bearer selection chairman is the first post so there is a method for example mr shashank patil want to be a chairman so one person mr satish patil should say i propose mr shashank patil shall be elected as the chairman of mamta cooperative housing our society's name for example second person should stand mr satish deshmukh satish deshmukh is the second one. he will say mr shashank patil shall be elected as a chairman for mamta cooperative housing society so their names will be recorded in the minute book proposed by seconded by he will ask returning officer any other proposal if there is no any other proposal then shashank patil will be unanimously elected as a chairman but if there is a challenge some other person is also giving giving proposal mrs shashikala deshmukh shall be the chairman proposed by vatsala patil seconded by some other person in that time again there will be election among them both mr shashank patil and vatsala deshmukh and again there will be given a cheat to each write the write your preferred candidate if there are totally how many are there six and women two eight and here is c1 st1 so there are totally 11 candidates out of 11 one candidate got six and one candidate got five so six is the majority that person will become the chair same thing for secretary same thing for treasurer proposed by second day by and for both the meetings minutes will be prepared by returning officer after that he has to he has to declare the result of election of office bearers in on the notice board and he has to prepare a very systematic election report submit it to the returning officer and he has to submit copy of minute book minutes of special general meeting and first meeting of newly elected managing committee to the society office and all these record must be maintained in society office minimum six months six months because there may be some challenge there may be some claim case so the election process is not proper in that time we, have, we can produce the proof for that society office that entire election process um documents evidence proof file should be maintained for six months in this way the election process is to be completed so if anybody has some doubts, you can ask, please.
within five minutes or ten minutes. If any doubts are there. Yes, yes, yes. yes. It was excellent presentation by Dr. Jish, uh, Jish Sir. And uh, uh, if you have any doubt, you can uh, raise your hand or what you can, I want to suggest, 